Hello everyone, in this video we're going to dive a little bit deeper into the world of Evergene. Without further delay, let's get started. Today we're going to take a closer look at the organization of an Evergene solution. We'll describe each of the projects that are part of a solution and the differences between platforms. To create a new Evergene project, we must use the Evergene launcher and select Add New Project. Then we'll enter the name and select the folder and the version of Evergene. We must also select the target platforms of the application, and in this video, we'll use the Windows platform. But once the solution is created, it is possible to add more platforms from the menu. Within Evergene Studio, we can open the solution directly in the default development environment, or we can also navigate to the project folder, where the solutions for all platforms are found. In Evergene Studio, we'll always use the Windows platform, even if the project has more platforms, because it's the solution that will be compiled and executed. Most of the functionality development will be focused on the main project, which is platform agnostic. In case we need to open or compile other platforms, we can go to the project folder, where we'll find them all. Now we open the Windows solution. Here we can see that the template has created three projects, to which we can add as many as we need for our development. The first project, with the main name of the application, is the one that will contain the core of our code. It's common to all platforms and will host all the functionalities and other components that are platform independent. In another video, we'll see how to create platform dependent functionalities using interfaces. The second project, with the same name but with the suffix .editor, is used to customize the property panels in Evergene Studio when configuring the components of an entity. It also allows you to specify how to display in those panels the properties that do not belong to the basic types, for example, an array of categories or a list of checks. Finally, we find the executable project of the application, specific by platform, which we can differentiate through the suffix, such as .windows, .android, .ios, or .web, among others. This project configures and instances Evergene to display the application on the platform. We can also see the entry point to the application, where the engine elements and the graphical context are initialized. In the path to the application, we can find other significant folders and files, such as the Evergene Studio project file or the content folder that stores the content of our application, such as scenes, textures, models, materials, shaders, and other graphic elements. In this video tutorial, we've learned the project structure within the solution, as well as the common and platform-specific projects. We have also seen the folders used by Evergene to store the content and the project information file for Evergene Studio. Evergene. Elevate your vision.